Charleston, South Carolina. We're on location at Jackie's house. Jackie. Howdy. <laughs> so I am down in the deep south with Jackie. We are um, just hanging out. Jackie lives in Charleston now. And so we're at her house for, we were here for a couple of days. And then we are headed down to Savannah, Georgia to go to a work conference that I have down there. But in between Charleston and Savannah is a little island called Hilton Head. And they have a Disney Vacation Club resort there called Disney's Hilton Head Resort. And I heard that you can go there as a non-guest, like someone who's not staying at the hotel. We actually did try to get reservations for one night because we do have this one night available where we could have stayed, but apparently it's been booked up for quite a while because it. Um, we looked at it a little bit late because we had a little bit of a late notice um, to see if we could stay there. But anyway, here nor there. What they told me, I actually called them and asked, can we visit? Because there wasn't a ton of information on the internet about what you can or cannot do with this resort. So what the front desk told me was that we are more than welcome to come and visit, which is exciting. We're not allowed to do any of these specific activities that are for resort guests. So you know when you go to a Disney resort and they might have like, movies by the pool or they might have a tie-dye class or something along those lines. We cannot do that, but we can participate in really anything else. So there are two restaurants there. One's a quick service and then one is a sit down. And then they also have a little uh, gift shop. And then they, I heard that Chip and Dale often visit the front desk. So I'm hoping that we might be able to make that work. <laughs> but who knows? I mean, we're just excited to go and have some fun. Oh, also they told me that there's pin trading that we can participate in. So I brought a bunch of Disney pins along with us, but it's 8:24 right now. We have about a two and a half hour drive, but since we're in America, we must go to Dunkin' Donuts. So let's go. <laughs> Have a new kiosk now. It took me a very long time to get my order, but it's here. Jackie, do you want to start with your order? Sure. So I got an iced um, matcha, Ooh. that's how you pronounce it, with um, almond milk. Yummy. And I got an everything bagel toasted with garden veggie cream cheese. Ooh. It's my favorite. Oh, that looks really delicious. good bagels. Don't get them at the airport though. If you go to the airport, they're usually just not as good, the bagels. Oh. They're, they just like are rushing things. Like, but Oh, they do a good toast here. They do a really Maybe. good toast here. A lot. Um, this is my most favorite thing in the world. This is just the iced coffee plain. You guys probably, if you've seen the channel before, you know. Uh, milk and sugar, that's it. Um, and then on the kiosk, this is what held me up. I wanted munchkins, but I wanted them only blueberry, and so I had to ask for them because that's not on the kiosk, by the way. But here they are. Jackie and I are going to share a couple of these. Maybe take them for the road. And then I got the, oh my gosh, there's four in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so anyway, or maybe I ordered wrong. These are the little bagel bites that have cream cheese in them. Um, yeah, I think I ordered two without knowing that there were two in there. Mm, okay. Hey, you know what? I think we have a fridge at the hotel. So we can eat those later. It says two hours and 17 minutes. Okay. How was your Dunkin' Donuts? Really good. I haven't had Dunkin' Donuts in a long time, so oh, dang. it was a treat. We, I never grew up with Dunkin' Donuts, but Jackie did. Mm -hmm. I did. Um, culottas, if everyone, anyone remembers oh. culottas, I don't actually know if they make them anymore, but mm. I've told Jesse about them before, and that was childhood. Nice. Yeah, we had like a Sonic, but I never drank coffee when I was a kid. Like that wasn't mm. a thing. It was just like soda only. And so this is like a new concept yeah, for me. I drank coffee since I was five years old. Oh my God. I'm tall too. I'm like 5'11". <laughs> so the whole thing about coffee stunting your growth is a myth. <laughs> Don't believe your parents get Do not. My mom was like, here you go. Here's some coffee in the morning. Oh my gosh. Like, I mean, that's kind of brilliant though, right? Yeah. It but it did get you addicted to coffee a little bit though. Sure. Yeah, that's fair. 
So I've never been to Hilton Head, but you have. Yes. What do we? What is? What's? What do we expect? Um, what's it like? Well, I went last December just for a couple nights, and it was. We didn't really do much exploring, so mm. I'm looking forward to maybe being there with some nicer weather um, and maybe a little more cheerful yeah. atmosphere. Oh, okay. So <laughs> that, that sounded weird. It wasn't. No, no, it was. No. <laughs> but it was. It's like. Was it colder? Is that what it, it was? was oh, yeah. Okay. It was in December, so it was like in the forties and kind of just like you oh, know that, like is that chilly. East Coast like drear in the winter. It was that was kind of alive and well then. So Yeah, and it's supposed to be like sixty degrees today, something that along those perfect. lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think that'll be nice. And it's always cooler by the ocean too, so we might get a little breezy out there. But I'm kinda of looking for I mean, I don't know what to expect, so this could be the greatest thing ever. It could be not the not, greatest. Not the greatest, yeah. But we're going to have a good time either way. We will. With Mickey pretzels. Bon voyage. I stand by you when you're falling. When the river is calling. I said I love you forever. We can make it together. Busting down There's lots of friendly faces All around And nothing's ever lifting me higher Than a touch of your Sweet desire What we're all We'll turn right We just have to hold Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> We listened to Backstreet Boys for two hours Jackie did some work And we've made it to the Shelter Cove Harbor So when we actually drove to the gate and said we're visiting we would like to um, have lunch there they said great you can't park here which we kind of expected but I just wanted to try it out so the parking here looks really nice and safe and all of those things so just if you're worried about that no need to worry um, it seems like a really lovely area and then here's daddy's tattoo though <laughs> Oh, dang. So we're taking a quick pit stop so Jackie can run to the restroom, but I just want to show you. So here's this little dock. And then you walk across the bridge that's over here. And the tan buildings are Disney's Hilton Head Resort property. So that is where we are headed in just a moment. It's probably, I'd say maybe a five minute walk from the parking lot, which really is not bad at all. Our first real piece of Disney. We've got the Hilton Head Resort sign. Oh my God, he's so cute. So when we talked to them when we were buzzing in, they said to come to the front desk if we needed a map. So I think we're gonna do that first and get a map, see what we can do. Which for reference, this is the Live Oak Lodge building. As you can probably tell, we're not outside. So, some of the most amazing things that have happened in recent past, we'll say this, happened today. So, when we were talking to the lovely people at the front desk, we just asked like, hey, do you happen to have a room tonight? And they said, well, you're probably gonna have to call like the Disney Vacation Club number and ask them. But then the guy at the front desk is like, well, let me do some digging. And he looked and they had a few two bedroom recently renovated suites available tonight. <laughs> and they looked at me kind of hesitantly. They're like, it's 487 a night. And I said, here's my credit card. Well, let's do this. <laughs> so what this means is that when you visit, you're not really allowed to do any of the like Disney events that they have, like, you know, the activities, there's a mosaic that's going on, a painting class, those sorts of things. But because we're staying here now, we get to. And oh my gosh, they were such great cast members. Like you can just tell, 
like they had that like Disney mindset and the magic mindset. And Kemya is so wonderful. She is the front desk worker here. She's actually from Savannah, Georgia, which is where we are going to be going for our convention. So we talked a little bit to her about that. And then Joe also helped us with our reservation. And Joe was so excited that we were excited <laughs> that he gave us two free Dole Whips. So not only did they make a magic moment by like making sure we had the reservation, they also gave us free Dole Whip. And I am living. This room is stunning. It's also like, I feel like it's bigger than my house. Like I'm going to turn the camera around and show you all the things because it's incredible. So welcome to 1712. Now this is considered to be a two bedroom suite at Disney's Hilton Head. And this is also a marsh view. So as you come in, the mat says, welcome home. And of course, you've got the little Disney locks. I'll show you our keys as well, because they were so cute. And then here's the view as you come in. So I'm gonna show you the main area, and then I'll go into the bedrooms in a moment. So we have a map of South Carolina. And then check this, it's so beautiful. So here's the artwork. Mickey and Minnie canoeing. There's USBs and plugs everywhere. There's some right there on the lamp. This also folds out into a bed. So you can see this guy here will fold down. Let's see the artwork behind it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's Donald. That is so cute. Okay, let's put it back. It's actually very easy to maneuver. It's just one-handed. It's a little bit hard. We have Huey, Dewey, and Louie and Donald doing some fishing. Donald had some very bad luck. He got a shoe. More lighthouse decor. And then I feel like I need to point out hidden Mickey on all the pillows and all the linens, including these beautiful curtains. And do you see the flowers make little hidden Mickeys? We've got a really cool 100 Years of Wonder book. I'll be taking a peek at that later on. We've got some downtime. And then here's the kitchen. Lovely large TV. And then down here, all of the plugs and everything that you might need. Oh, okay, just that drawer opens. Here's the kitchen, full kitchen with a stove, which is amazing, plus dishwasher. And it does come pretty stocked with like your standard dishes that you might need while you're here, including some baking ware and pots and pans, utensils, knives and spatulas and such. We've got Joffrey's coffee. And this is just their plain Peru blend and then Disney World blend. So fun. We've got more glassware. Tongs, bottle opener, etc which is so nice because oftentimes bottle openers are overlooked. <laughs> Pitcher. Oh, nice. And here's some serving bowls and some uh, little bowls that you can place leftovers in. We do have a dishwasher here. I don't know if they have, oh, they do. They have dishwasher pods, sponges. They also have soap, paper towels. And then there is the garbage and um, some extra storage space for your food and more plugs, which is really nice. And then the fridge is a full size fridge, large, large fridge, which is really nice. And then we're going to go, this is Jackie's room, but here's these really large, oh yes, <laughs> washer and dryer, by the way, in the hallway. And they also have um, washing detergent as well and iron and ironing board. And then here is Jackie's room. It's a two queen bed. Okay, wow. <laughs> How, how's it going in here, Jax? I hope. Not room. <laughs> yes. 
It's very nice. Look at all of this storage. I can't believe how spacious this is. Yeah. It's like kind of impressive. Oh, just regular drawers. Yeah, all the way down. And then they have some more Disney artwork. I think this is the only one, but there's Pluto and Mickey looking around. And I'm sure there's hidden Mickeys on this guy. Ooh, maybe not. Oh no, do you see them? <laughs> they usually have them on the linens. Maybe this is plain because the other one is very themed. They have more um, storage here. Look at this big drawer. Oh, the Bibble's in there. <laughs> Ooh, a full length mirror. Hello. And then we've got a large closet in this space. I, this place is so big. It's wild. <laughs> so there's your hangers and little luggage holder. Then there's this kind of empty, large space, maybe for extra storage, those sorts of things. Maybe if you have gear, if you're going swimming, I don't know, put your inner tubes there. Here is the bathroom. And the bathroom has a direct like window to the outside corridor. So you're gonna wanna shut that for sure. But here is this artwork. There's a hidden Mickey right here. But it looks like it's like Mickey footprints out to the beach, which is super cute. So there's more storage down here where you can put things. This actually is not, you can't open the middle. You can open these. Oh, we've got a lovely hair dryer. Also, I do want to point out H2O products. Those will be coming home with us. Thank you very much. And we've got a really lovely rain shower and Disney Resorts body wash conditioner and shampoo. And I don't know what, usually it says like the scent. Oh, it does. Sea salt, sea marine. Okay. This resort is amazing. I can't even like handle it. It's insane. It really is beautiful. Yeah. Here is the main bedroom, the larger of the, two, well, larger bed of the two areas. So we've got a, two seating areas, like a bench, and then also like a couch. And then look at all of this storage. Tons and tons of storage flat screen television, and then, and then we've got these beautiful linen. I just like to show the linens. They're so pretty. So we've got little birdies and butterflies. We also have access to our porch, which I'll show you in just a moment. And then more Disney artwork. So we've got Donald and Mickey here doing some fishing. Just super cute. Couple of, oh yeah, these are really fun. These are their little, the little book lights. So at night, if you need a little bit of little light, those are nice and maneuverable. More plugs, more storage. This pillow is adorable with the hidden Mickeys on it. I love that. And then we've got Goofy, which is perfect for my room. So Goofy trying the perfect cast, but you'll notice he is fishing with a cork and a lollipop. <laughs> I love it so much. And then let's check out this bathroom. This is wild, okay? Welcome to this giant bathroom. So we have a soaker tub, which is beautiful. But then can we talk about this mural? We've got Max and Goofy fishing, which is just so, so cute. I love it so much. This is like, I would like to have this. <laughs> and lots more storage here. A mirror. Hi. Another hair dryer. And then storage under the sink for this particular room. I can't believe how much storage there is. And then here in the back, we've got a bunch of extra pillows and blankets. We've got hangers, and we also have a vacuum cleaner and a steamer. 
next you're coming into the toilet room of this particular room and again more storage at the bottom and here hello again <laughs> We have a really pretty piece of artwork that says Mickey Mouse plus Minnie Mouse on the beach, which is super cute. Lots of towels. And we have a lovely rain shower with a removable head in this shower, plus all of our Disney Resorts bath products. Now let's go out to the deck and see kind of what we've got here. So, out here on the deck, there's two accesses, one from the living room area and then one from the bedroom. Two lovely, large rocking chairs, little picnic table, and this is the view. This is what a marsh view looks like. So, here is the um, dock on the the right hand side and as you go around here is the little marsh view and yes that is <laughs> Bambi and Thumper. Is this so cool? Oh my gosh. This resort is stunning. I'm so excited to be here. In the corner of the kitchen you've got this little dining area and look what they did. Oh, how cute is this? I feel like you could comfortably fit four people, but that's about it around this little table because it is a little bit crammed in the corner over here. Oh, man. I just love seeing the topiaries out the window. Currently at the Tide Me Over quick service, and they do have Disney mugs here in case you are staying here and want to get your like typical Disney refillable mugs. And we got kids meals. It's kind of a little hack. Um, you can get a kids meal with a small drink and it was $6.99 and they can give you any of the sides. And let me show you the menu. And for the kids and also the regular entrees, you have to choose one of these sides. And so we actually got fried pickles. We have this really fun sign that shows you how many miles it is to all of the different Disney World resorts. And also to the Grand Californian and to Alani. <laughs> but check out this view. This is outside of Tide Me Over beautiful little pier where you can go out and sit. Everything is so adorable here. They have cornhole. Let's check this out. <laughs> we trekked it back to the room with all of our food because Jackie is going to be doing, a, she's got some work things that she has to do. So we thought it would be easier just to come back to the room. And plus this room is freaking giant. <laughs> so that's kind of nice. But on a day like today, when I didn't expect to stay at a Disney resort, and then I get this, it's a good day. It's a good day. They also have different plastic cheese. This actually looks like maybe real cheese. <laughs> Ultimate cheddar cheese dip. So this is different than what they have in Disney World. Um, oh, it actually has cheese in it and not just in the first ingredients, not plastic. Mm, okay. Um, and then we have some Monarch Ranch dressing because we got the kids meal. So I'm going to open up the kids meal and show you what that looks like. Um, this was $6.99. Like that is insane. Look how many pickles. Because I got fried pickles, obviously. You could choose between sweet potato fries, regular fries, something else, and this. And I'm like... I love fried pickles so much. And then I got the kids cheeseburger, which is just, I mean, I'm sure it's same as Disney. Oh yeah, same as Disney. It's a smaller version of their like regular chi boogie, but oh my gosh. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> this is so fun. And then we have the little Disney cups as well. Bon appetit. Jackie is still on a work call. So I came into my room because I wanted to turn on the TV because look what they have. 
they have the <laughs> Disney Resort music and little schedule that they have at all the other resorts um except obviously it's for Hilton Head but look they have park hours on the right hand side so Magic Kingdom hours Epcot Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom I don't know if that's there to tease me but <laughs> it really is so nice to have a little bit of Disney magic in my life I've had a rough couple months so it really truly feels like a little bit of magic, which I'm very, very thankful for. Jackie's meeting is probably gonna last until three and it's 2.50 right now. And so my thinking is that she's like not super duper into characters and the character meet and greet is at three, right? And so I think I might go down to the main mercantile area and go see who is gonna be meeting, get my pictures, do that sort of thing. Obviously I'll be taking you guys along and then have Jackie come and meet us afterwards. So Josie, the lovely cast member at the rental center, um, which is where you sign up for all of the courses, which we signed up for three different activities, <laughs> which is a lot and I know that, but let me explain explain myself. We signed up for mosaics. We signed up for character painting and we also signed up for paint your own wine glass tomorrow morning, which I think is going to be so much fun. So each of these classes cost a little bit of money and I will put up on the screen what that cost is just so you're aware. Um, but it's really, it was not that expensive just so you know. But anyway, Josie, the cast member got us all signed up and was super duper sweet to us. And she told us that we were explaining, you know, Jackie's got to go to this business meeting and she's going to be there for a while. Is there any way we can show up a little bit late to the 2.30 Mosaics class? And she's like, yeah, just show up whenever. I'm here until 8 p.m. Like no big deal. Like so, so, so sweet to us. And so we're going to show up um, after Jackie gets done with her meeting. But now it's 2.52. I need to get my shoes on and I need to brush my hair and get to the characters. So let's go. It's Pluto. <laughs> because Pluto was bombarded by children um, and so as they were coming to the little recreation rental area that's where they actually meet one other family that was lined up so I lined up behind them and so I was second in line got pictures really quick and then got out of there. <laughs> I didn't want to spend a too much time um, doing interacting because there were so many families that they had to get through. So I just did a really quick little photo opportunity. Now I'm taking a little long route back to the hotel room to go pick up Jackie. Hopefully she's done with her meeting. I have to show you this detail because it's so neat, but Bambi's hooves look like little pieces of wood. They're like wood grain. And then when you look at his eyes, it's all made up of little flowers. And even the eyelids are made of like little leaves. And then there's that wood piece for his nose. These are so beautiful. And look at Thumper, even Thumper's tooth. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so cool. Businessing on my business quite hard, and now it's mm -hmm. over. And I'm glad it's over. It went a little long, so <laughs> it's like 20 minutes after. But I'm sure Josie doesn't mind. I hope not. She uh, she had a couple of people down doing the mosaic that we were gonna do, but it seems pretty casual. Yeah, yeah. It was it just some people digging through a bucket of glass from what I saw. Very so I'm um, yeah. Put your Mickey hands on. Exactly. For orientation purposes. This is the pool over here. Here is the recreational rental center here, which is where you sign up for events and get your bike rentals and stuff. And then in here is a little activity space, which is where we're going to be because we're doing all of the fun activities today. So it looks like here's some of the concrete. Oh yes. Okay. So we have a choice between a dolphin, a sea turtle, and a Mickey head. Oh, here's some that people have completed. Cute. Ooh, I like that turtle. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Life 
Life is a winding road. No you were wondering, yes, it we really have just been um, pawing at glass for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> Jackie, how's yours going? It's going really good. I'm it just looks so good. Yeah. A little bit of a theme. Yeah, it's good colors. Mm -hmm. I went with the pink and purple and silvery because it's just my favorite colors. And um, You need a lot more stones than you think. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm now trying to like paw through and find more of these colors. So if you do this activity, you need a lot. So here's mine all finished. I kind of love it actually. These are like so my colors, pink and purple and silver and holographic. Look at that center holographic. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I think we just leave these to dry. They have like, look how cute this little name tag is for mine. So the cherry party super adorable. So I think we let these dry and we come back and get them later on. And I'll show you Jackie's here in a little bit. She's not quite done yet. So here's Jackie's. And then there's ours together. Oh my gosh, I love it. We used our Dole Whip vouchers here at Tide Me Over, um, which is at the Broad Creek Mercantile. And they had a specialty Dole Whip today. It's a raspberry and pineapple swirl. And Jackie said it was really tasty. And then next to tide me over is the mercantile, which is where the gift shop is. Here is the gift shop that's at Hilton Head Resort. Now this gift shop is super duper tiny. It also, um, they were blasting life as a highway, which was giving me life, but also I couldn't really talk. So anyway, here's some Hilton Head merchandise. I did get that magnet and then there is a ball cap and a polo. There's also some generic Hilton Head merchandise, but most everything was Disney Vacation Club. And something to keep in mind is that if you do not belong to the Disney Vacation Club, you cannot purchase the Disney Vacation Club merchandise. So as we're kind of doing a quick walkthrough here, you'll notice a lot of the merch is Vacation Club branded. They also had some really fun things. They did have a few ears, and also hats that you might see in a Disney resort. And then here's more Disney Vacation Club merchandise. There was a lot. <laughs> a Vacation Club lounge fly bag. There's plenty of spirit jerseys. They also had some really cute corksicle as well as a Tervis tumbler. But what was so unfortunate, it didn't really have any Disney on it. So I ended up passing. And then here is some more Hilton Head uh, little sweatshirts and a t-shirt that was really cute. It said Gone Fishing. I really liked that. But it was in youth. They also had some kind of generic t-shirts like Pizza Planet and also some Mickey t-shirts that said Disney World. Then this is a newer summer line for Disney that's available actually on Shop Disney right now. Um, but unfortunately, it just wasn't branded to Hilton Head, and so I kind of passed on most all of the merchandise, um, which is very rare for me. <laughs> Something I do want to mention is they did have a very small selection of bathing suits in this gift shop. However, if you're coming here, I definitely would bring your own because they had such little selection. There was just this one style only. They did have a good puzzle and game section, which was very appropriate considering that the rooms are so humongous and you could definitely play some board games and those sorts of things in the hotel. I was so impressed that they had Olu Mel um, from Duffy and Friends. It was surprising to see him. They also had some cute pirate merch and uh, some Finding Nemo themed Duffies, which was really fun. Some goggles, sunglasses, more 2024 merchandise. They also had a very small selection of children's clothing as well as some children's bathing suits and bathing um, like little swim tops. But again, the selection was so very tiny. They did have a pretty decent sized cooler, but there was a very little stock. As you can see, lots of ice cream. Um, some frozen dinners and then a small selection of beers, wines, and then soft drinks. There were also some amenities, lots of sunscreen. And then we had these little souvenirs. 
that I thought were kind of fun. They had some keychains. They also had some really cool postcards for Hilton Head Island, which I thought was really fun. And then as we continue around, you can see they had a lot of really neat themed Disney beach toys, which I'd never seen before. I have this rack of like peanut butter jelly, condiments, cooking spray, salt and pepper, because the suites have kitchens. Tons of those Disney snacks that you'll find at all the resorts. And then some kitchenware, some basic kitchenware, mugs and water bottles. They also had some reusable Ziploc bags, which were kind of cool. And there's a small selection of wine and wine stoppers. They have a small selection of medicines, feminine products, deodorants, toiletries, and a small selection of Pandora charms, as well as a Dooney and Burke bags behind the cash register. They did have Disney pins. They were all open edition. They did also have some Disney Vacation Club ones, but they did not have a specific Disney Hilton Head Resort pin, which was really disappointing because I was really hoping to bring one of those home. However, they said that they're in between designs and they should have a new one very soon. They also had a rack of Disney jewelry. Jackie did not have a bathing suit with her. Jackie, what the hell? I still got. <laughs> but that's okay. We came to the Walmart here. This is the most beautiful Walmart I've ever seen. We were so, I was like, is this a spa? We didn't even know we were at the Walmart when we got to the Walmart, you know? <laughs> so we were very confused. I need to turn the camera around to show you. Like this is the parking lot. I've got another video I'll insert. It is wildly beautiful here. And all of the buildings are like the color of the area. So it, it's gotta be some sort of mandate that Hilton Head has done to where all the buildings have to match the nature and then they have to keep all the trees. But it is like really, really picturesque Walmart, which is very, it's interesting. It's an interesting concept. Um, they haven't implemented that in Anchorage. We know that for sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, not Charleston either. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're, uh, we actually got some food because everything closes at the Hilton Head Resort by eight o'clock and all the food places shut down by five. It's 540 right now. So we don't even have an option to get food at the Hilton Head Resort. So since we have a kitchen, we decided to go ahead and get some Chinese food from the frozen section of Walmart. And we're just going to use our own little kitchen and make our own little dinner. And I'm kind of actually excited about it. I think it'll be a nice little, yeah, nice little dinner. Uh -huh. It'll be nice. So anyway, we're gonna head back. This Walmart was two miles away, but it took 15 minutes to get here. So, don't, we're going back. We're going back. We're gonna get in the hot tub immediately. It is 6.15 right now, and we really wanted to enjoy the pool. So I wanted to show you, I got a little swimsuit cover up from Walmart and I love it. Let me show it to you, it's so cute. It's just like a little, like little t-shirt dress. Isn't this the cutest? So now at least I have something to wear down to the pool. We have only until 8 p.m. to use the pool. So we're gonna try to make the best of it. So we're gonna head down there now and we'll take you guys along so you guys can see the pool too. In between the buildings here at the resort are just so beautiful. There's a lot of mature trees with Spanish moss. They also have lots of little activities like hammocks, little putt-putt areas. Over to the right here is a little butterfly garden, but obviously it's not sprouted because spring has not quite sprung yet. Everything was about a three to four minute walk in total around the property. So it is a large property, but it's really easy to maneuver around and it is quite the stunning resort you can also rent bicycles here too um, as you'll see there's some bike racks there uh, for you to rent but we just decided to hoof it um, because we're getting our steps in push the thingy yeah there you go there we go <laughs> I did the same thing earlier. <laughs> yes. Okay, so as you walk in to the pool, here is a little circular ear because this pool makes a Mickey, which is so cute. And then here. Sorry. Futures of Broadway. 
bronze statue of which sea-loving animated character? It's the main pool area. And number 16, what is the nickname of the stretch of Florida coastline along which Disney Vero Beach Resort is located? What is the nickname of the stretch of Florida coastline along which Disney Vero Beach Resort is Other ear makes a little kiddie pool, so it's a one foot deep little pool for the little ones. We made it back from our little dippy dip in the pool. Jax, how was your dippy dip in the pool experience? It was amazing. Very mm -hmm. relaxing. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. It was like 102, which is like perfect temperature. Mm -hmm. So we stayed in for like an hour, <laughs> which was longer than I thought we were going to. Rooney. And we did a little like, cold yeah. plunge too. Yeah, we did a cold plunge. The The pool seemed to be heated. Yeah, I think it probably was. Yeah, because it, it seemed warmer than like a regular cool. It, it should have been cold, yeah. but it wasn't. But it was nice. There was a lot of people towards the end, and I'm kind of like, mm. we were out. Yeah, yeah. We kind of got closed in there with like almost ten people in there at one point. I'm like, okay, I'm pruny. Let's go. <laughs> so anyway, we are back at the room, and we are getting ready to. We're getting ready to PF Changs. Is what we're getting ready to do. Jackie's closed the windows because our neighbors are out on their porch staring into our yeah. unit. Rude. Rude. <laughs> And we don't want that to happen. So we don't want them to know all of our secrets of us just eating Chinese food in our pajamas. But oh, here we are. Move over, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> and B.F. Chang. Um, we know how to microwave some stuff, but also do a stovetop. But look at this. This is a meal. I think we spent, what, probably $20, I think, on it. If that. Yeah, probably. Because, like, the, I think the rice was 4 Yeah. And then the meat was five. Oh no, we spent 15. Yeah. And then the salad. Yep. But sometimes you just don't want restaurant food and we have a, we have a kitchen. It just made sense. All right, bon appetit. We'll, we'll report back. The next day. everyone it's right around nine o'clock we last night after we had our dinner we watched one show and then went to bed because everything shut down here like it's very very relaxing and so yeah we ended up going to bed I slept so hard Jackie also said that she slept really hard the beds are nice and new and the pillows are so fluffy and oh my gosh I zonked out. Also, the curtains in my room are so tall that they just covered the entire light. So even in the morning, I had like no clue what time it was because it was like light blocking shades. It was so, so lovely. I'm very, very appreciative of all the amenities that this room has to offer because I slept great last night. <laughs> so today on the agenda, we are going to a course this morning at 10 a.m to do a paint your own wine glass. One of the things that I heard about Hilton Head is they have so many great classes and so many fun activities to do. So we're definitely taking advantage of that today. So we're gonna do one more course. We're also, we need to pack up because we have to check out of the resort as well. So we are gonna check out and then we are gonna probably do a little bit more exploring. I don't know if we wanna leave here right away after our course. I do have to get to Savannah by four o'clock today, and it's about an hour and a half drive. So we'll probably leave here around two-ish, I would say. But we tried to sit on the porch this morning, and I wanna show you the view. Let me turn you guys around. Look, you can see like the porch and marsh from the bed, which is so pretty. But it was 40 degrees. <laughs> Absolutely not. So. It's definitely a lot chillier today. I think the high is gonna be 60 degrees. So unfortunately we couldn't do any like porch lounging, which is okay. We're okay with that. 
but I've got to get packed up and get ready. We've got to get down to the recreation center by 10 a.m. So we have another, you know, few minutes. And then I, Jackie and I did one load of laundry with like our bathing suits and everything that we wanted to have washed here because we have a washer and dryer in the room. And then I just have a little bit to pack up and then we are ready to go. So it's time for us to get ready and head down to go paint some wine glasses. <laughs> Hey, it's time to go now. Goodbye room. Bye room. We are now in the class. <laughs> we just grabbed our <laughs> mosaics before our painting class. They look so good. Oh my god, I love them. Jackie, what does yours look like? Oh yeah, mine's. My room represents my personality and Jessie's represents her personality. <laughs> it really it's pretty much perfect. It's pretty much this is the both of us. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Just finished with our little wine glass class. That was fun. Jackie, what did you think about it? It was really fun. Um, you know, you go into it thinking you're like a master painter and you're gonna like nail it and it just never is that way. Wow. Go, in, go in with low expectations. <laughs> I didn't think that. <laughs> oh, I mean I don't think I'm a master painter, but like you think it's just gonna turn you, out differently. Well, yeah, you think it's gonna be like <laughs> super duper duper easy and it was not more challenging. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what a flower why I forgot what a flower looked yeah, like all of a I sudden. I blacked out on the flower thing. Mm -hmm. But it was fun. It was fun. It was I'll insert I'll insert some clips of what they look like um, now that they're completed. But I guess you just pop them in the oven and it's glass paint and then they you can just use them after that, mm -hmm. which is cool. So um, Christian at the Recreation Center, um, they have a little scavenger hunt where you find Chip and Dale. They look like this little picture at the bottom. And then you take your picture with the little stand and show the Recreation Center and they give you little acorns. Well, we were supposed to collect four, but they only have them in a different location each day. So we asked if they would be able to give us our prize because we're leaving today. And they said, yes, and look what we got. It's a Hilton Head, like Disney's Hilton Head Resort uh, magnet. It's like this really big, nice magnet. And I'm gonna put this on my freezer when I get home, which is really fun. And then Christian is so sweet and he gave us little first visit to Hilton Head buttons. And he even wrote on there and there's little hidden Mickeys, which I love. So mm -hmm. thank you, Christian. If you're watching, you're the best. Um, and we're going to just keep walking around the resort a little bit just to do some exploring. But it's cold. It's four, four, 45 degrees, maybe 46 degrees. A little chilly. A little chilly. Okay. Well, we'll do some exploring. Bye. On the marsh side of this resort, they have this really beautiful, large jungle gym for the kiddos which is nice and it's also fenced in which is also very convenient and then there's this like really beautiful little area it almost looks like a place where someone could get married that's kind of what i'm assuming it's for there's like you know something along those lines or maybe like a little theater style but man it was so beautiful and i'm sure when the tide comes in uh, the water goes up a little bit higher around this area to make it a little bit more picturesque, but I thought it was a really, really lovely spot um, on the marsh side of the resort. So now we're heading back towards where the pool is, where we took you guys last night. And as we're heading through, no one is in the pool, which makes sense because it's 45 degrees outside. <laughs> but as we're heading through the pool, I wanted to show you the backside of the recreation area. So this is where we were for the mosaics. And as we continue downward here, off to the left-hand side, there's a really cool fire pit. And off to the right where those little picnic tables were, that's where we were painting our wine glasses. And then you have this super long, beautiful pier that you can walk down. And there are picnic tables out there. And there's also places to take photos and hang out. It is so pretty. 
Now we are in the actual pier area and then here is the view that you have. The water was just so beautiful. I can't believe there were boats out there. It seems so shallow that there shouldn't be any boats. And it's just a really beautiful, peaceful area. It was so windy and cold. So it was a little bit hard to enjoy, but it still was a pretty view. Now walking back from the pier, we're going to get to the recreation building that's um, right in front of us. On the bottom is the recreation center and where the pool access is. And above is where the Tide Me Over quick service restaurant is, as well as the Broad Creek Mercantile. Like I mentioned earlier, there are just so many places to have like little recreation opportunities. Jackie couldn't help herself. She needed to do a little bit of putt. Oh, oh. <laughs> just a little overshot there, a little overshot. <laughs> We have made a little bit of a trek over to the Palmetto Beach House. So this is actually a remote property that is still operated by Disney. And they have a clubhouse as well as beach access and it's for guests staying at Hilton Head. They do have a shuttle from nine to five. But since we're leaving today, they do allow you to drive if you and you can use your parking pass to get into this area. So we're gonna go check out this place this is also the only place that has um seated dining so signals is their only seated dining restaurant quick service is all that's available at the actual resort beach was so stunning now we're headed back to the beach house which does have access but you have to use your key card to get in to the beach house itself which does make sense and this pool is so neat they have like a little swimming pool here and it's in the shape of an H for Hilton Head Jackie is gonna test the water and it is actually a heated pool there are restrooms and the restrooms do have lockers that you pay in quarters for if you're interested. Plus they've got life jackets for the kiddos. And then they have this little clubhouse room that was really neat that had a pool table and it also has some really lovely like little lounge chairs and there is a fireplace and a place you know to maybe sit relax play games those sorts of things but it's got the coolest photo pass that this lovely cast member is going to show us check this out disney to have the photo pass oh nobody else has a dvc really? from all the other locations oh i didn't realize that and we actually stepped up and this comes out of our own operating budget Oh my gosh. So we're the only place like that. Wow. Oh, that's so wild. Yeah. Is it free? Yes, ma'am. Oh, fun. Okay. Oh my gosh. Those Cute. are great, but the reason I tell everybody to do this one, mm -hmm. you have all these effects and filters that you can use, obviously, but you take three different poses on all three of them. And um, when you're ready, you just hit uh, right there. And uh -oh. say three, two, one. <laughs> Get in here, Jack. Oh, wow. That's your favorite. <laughs> oh, my. Out of the three. Mm. <laughs> mm, I kind of like that one. Yeah. Now, this is why <gasps> I love this. Oh, that's so cute. So oh, now, they print them. Yes, ma'am. It prints <gasps> right here. The first thing that's going to pop out 
and it'll be quick, uh -huh. is the QR code or a code, wrong code, for your um, Disney Oh, yeah, Disney experience. Photo Pass. Yep, Disney Experience app. Oh so my gosh. That's, that's the first thing that'll pop out. Oh. Disney Experience. It'll go straight to it. But yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh. Right and you can use it multiple times That's a day. So cool. That is so fun. Thank and you, you for showing the, us that. The tear strips and everything. Oh, that. That's, That's so, so cool. cool. Absolutely. Thank wow. you. So cute. <laughs> I love that. Here's the only sit down restaurant on quote unquote Disney property for Hilton Head. So let's go see it. And you can refill your soda mugs too. Welcome to the little dining room at Signals. Now, I would not consider this to be a table service restaurant, which is I believe what the website said. Very much so a quick service. It does have beer available for purchase as well as food. And the menu looked almost identical to the menu at Tide Me Over at the main property. So it was just a little bit of a different impression that I had of this restaurant than I expected. And with that, Jackie and I wanna thank you for coming along on this unexpected Disney Hilton Head Resort mini vacation that we had. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've been to Hilton Head or what you thought of the place. Will you be visiting? Thank you again so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs. Be sure to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye.